gigantic game here for Sunday. Lions hosting the L.A. Rams in a super wild card weekend. Whew, the highlights of this is going to be everywhere, right? you got former quarterback Matthew Stafford coming to Detroit to face his old team, and you got his old team, Rams, former quarterback Jared Goff facing his old team after being traded from L.A. to Detroit. This one is going to be a good one. Let's go. If you like Lions content, then this is why you should subscribe because that's all we do on here is talk Detroit Lions news and rumors, and we're trying to be the fastest-growing channel on Chat Sports. So go ahead, subscribe if you like Lions content. Lions are hosting the L.A. Rams on Sunday night football. The game is 8 p.m. Eastern time. Right now, the Lions are favored by three and a half points. The total over and under is 52 and a half. And of course, the underdogs are the Rams. You have the 12 and 5 Detroit Lions tying the best record in franchise history with a great offense, putting up 27.1 points per game. Fifth in the NFL, going against an L.A. defense that is allowing 22.2, 19th in the NFL. Lions defense are allowing 23.2 points per game with a Rams very good offense that's putting up 23.8 points per game. So you get two very similar teams facing each other. Good offenses, I guess a little bit sus defenses, and monumental stakes for this game. So I got a question for you. Who do you got winning this game? Do you got the Lions winning? Put D-E-T. Do you have the Rams winning? Put L-A Rams. Take advantage if there is an ad while this video is taking place. Let's continue on here. We look at injuries as they're a big part of the game here. The Detroit Lions got some injuries and we got some good news in some of these players Linebacker James Houston, questionable to return. I'm thinking he does not actually return in this game, but if the Lions advance, expect him the following week. Jamison Williams will play on Sunday, already confirmed by Dan Campbell. Sam Laporta, questionable. I think he'll. it's quite doubtful that he returns, but there is actually a possibility that occurs after the injury sustained against the Vikings. Benito Jones probably will play in this game, probable. Brock Wright, questionable. I'm going to say he's more probable to play. Good time to get him back. Khalif, Khalif Raymond is questionable. I don't think he plays in this game for the Lions. Now, again, if they advance, then that's when I would expect him. How about the L.A. Rams? They got Joe Noteboom, questionable to play. Tyler Higby, their tight end, questionable to play. And Duke Shelley, questionable with a hamstring. So they're doing pretty good over there. Let's go ahead and get into these matchups really quick here. Lions offense, again, putting up 27.1 points per game with a defense that's allowing 22.2. Take the over on both. Total yards per game, Lions is 394.8. Third, Going against total yards, 20th of 337.9. Absolutely take the over on both. Passing yards per game, Lions are 258.9. Second in the NFL. Going against a defense that allows 231.1. 20th over both. Rushing yards per game, Lions are 5th at the 139.1. With the 12th rush defense allowing 106.8. Take the over on both again. What is a player you got to look out for for the Rams defense? Well, how about Kobe Turner right now? He's got 29 soul tackles, 8 tackles for loss, 9 sacks in a quarterback hit of 16. We know about Aaron Donald. We know what he brings, but there's other players that you got to look out for. Him being one of those players, Lions got a, a lot of work out for this offensive line, both on edge and interior, and I think they'll do a good enough job to keep Jared Goff standing upright. Let's look at this Lions defense versus this Rams offense here. Lions defense, they're giving up 23.2 points per game with the total yards per game for the Rams offense is 359.3. We forgot the points per game for the Rams offense, and right now that's pretty good for them as they're putting up 23.8. That's eighth in the NFL. Take the over. Yards allowed per game is 336.1 with total yards per game 359.3 
take the over on both. Passing yards per game, 247.4, going against a pass defense that's 239.0, 10th in the NFL. Take the over on the Rams. Rushing yards per game, a Lions are really good, 86.4, second in the NFL, going against a rush yards per game, 120.3, 11th. I'm going to take the over for the Lions under on the Rams. Lions are zero with turnovers as they got to this past game, make them 16th. Going against a Rams offense that's turning the ball over a little bit more. Negative three, 21st in the NFL. I will get the Lions to get a turnover in this game. Matchup here, we all know who the quarterback is. That's quarterback Matthew Stafford for the L.A. Rams, former Detroit Lions quarterback. He's got 3,965 yards, a quarterback rating of 92.5, 24 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. He is a quarterback that can sling it. We already know this. I, I could talk about it a million times over, but we know. Every one of us knows. But he is successful from getting turnovers and interceptions. I suspect that the Lions defense with Melifon, with C.J. Gardner-Johnson, and Jerry Jacobs, and Brian Branch, able to get maybe an interception or two in this game. So after hearing about this, who do you got winning this game? Do you got the Detroit Lions winning this game? Put D-E-T. Do you got the L.A. Rams? Put the Los Angeles Rams. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's go ahead and talk about the sponsor of today's video. That is Prize Picks. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. And if you want to spice up your NFL Sunday, look no further than Prize Picks. You want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays in the promos tab of the app to view entry some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your players stay and play even if one of your players exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second. That player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. For tonight's game, I got Sean Cortier and Cole Colefield getting more than 20 minutes on the ice and 19.5. So get started with prize picks right now. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS, for deposit match up to $100. Why is it code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency partner. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today. The link will be in the description and comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. What about the Rams? What have they done so far this year? Well, they have. A, they started out kind of slow, but they got going. They defeated the Seattle Seahawks, but then they lost to San Francisco, lost to City, defeated Indianapolis, and lost to the Philadelphia Eagles. Continue on here. They defeated the Arizona Cardinals. Then they went on a losing streak, losing to Pittsburgh, Dallas, and Green Bay. Then they defeated Seattle Seahawks again. Continue on here. They went on a winning streak after that. Arizona, Cleveland, pretty good. Lost to Baltimore, then defeated Washington and New Orleans and finished the season out on a winning streak. Continued as the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. But the San Francisco game, it is it is what it is because they both had their starters out in that game. But they still won. So they're a team that's on a winning streak. What are things that the Lions need to do to win this game? Well, we need to start fast, absolutely. Go in this game and start quick. This is what this offense has done on its winning streak for the Detroit Lions. They've been starting out fast as of late, and they got to continue that. we got to remove the running game from the Los Angeles Rams. And how do you do that? You score quickly offensively, and it starts to take that game out of there, and you make them one-dimensional. That's what the Lions need to do offensively. We need to get turnovers with Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford has shown that he can do pick sixes. He can do interceptions. You win the turnover battle, you win the game. And it's the uh, same with the opposite side. We cannot turn the football over. Anytime the Lions win the turnover battle, we win the game. That is the number one key, if you ask me. Every single time we win the game when you win the turnover battle. So just continue to do that. We need to run the football effectively, not just with David Montgomery, but we need to get Jameer Gibbs going. The last couple of weeks, it felt like Jameer Gibbs has not put on that extra mile. In this game, you got to do it. You know, we got to be able to get these guys to run the football. We control the way the clock works. We control the game, control the run game, and play action works every time when you can run the football. Run it, run it, run it. 
We need to sack Matthew Stafford. Ada Hutchinson has been on a sack streak the last two weeks. We need to continue that. We know this. If you can rattle Stafford, you can get him off his game. If you let him sit there, he's going to pick you apart. But we got to get under his skin, and that's up to Aiden Hutchinson and this defensive line to do it. Romeo Aquara, read to introduce yourself to him. You, you've been, played better the last couple weeks. Help this team out. Sack this man. We need him sacked. And again, controlling the clock, just like we kind of talked about earlier. You control the clock, you win the football game. And this team can get it done. Absolutely, they have a shot to win this game. Again, dictate how we operate. Dictate it. I know a lot of people right now think that the Detroit Lions are going to lose this game and blah, blah, blah. I think the Lions are three-and-a-half-point favorites, and I do think they should be favored at this game. Even though we have some injuries and Laporta potentially may not play in this game, the Lions have a plethora of offensive weapons. You know people. You know a player who's been really coming up at late? Donovan Peoples-Jones. So I expect him to have a big game if Laporta does not play, Brock Wright's a pretty good tight end as well. Remember, we were good last year, even at the tight end position. So I fully expect the Lions offense to continue to roll. If the Lions can get to 33 points, I think they win this game. And that is my prediction here. The Detroit Lions win 33 to 30. Lions, to me, are the better team. We're at home, and I can guarantee you that crowd noise is going to be off the chains. This will be a massive victory for the Detroit Lions. And depending how things turn out with other games, because we really don't know right now, the Lions have a legit shot to get it done. And before we exit, let's talk about some of these other ones, right? Let's talk about, so if the Lions win, the Lions potentially could go to Dallas. That's if Dallas beats Green Bay. If Green Bay wins, then the Lions could host another playoff game. So if Green Bay defeats the Dallas Cowboys, we'd be facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or the Philadelphia Eagles at home. That would be really, really cool. And that's exactly what the Detroit Lions want, right? To host a playoff game and have them ready to go for sure. But, hey, go ahead. Let me know in the comment section who do you got winning the game, score predictions, all of that. I'm curious to see what you think. With that said, folks, adios.